Hello everybody, AJ Rizek here, and today got a little quick tutorial for you. We are going to look at how to recover lost files using a tool called PhotoRec. Now, uh, we've all done this where accidentally deleted something, or deleted a partition, or repartitioned, or whatever, and we have unfortunately lost a file that we didn't want to lose. It could be a movie file, a, a document, whatever. Uh, there are tools available to recover those lost files. One we're going to look at today is called PhotoRec. It's actually part of another tool called TestDisk, which I will be doing another tutorial on that one as well because uh, it's got some other tools available for um, you know looking at partitions and fixing, uh, fixing looking for deleted partitions, that sort of thing. Um, but that's going to be another tutorial. We're looking at just lost individual files. Okay, so uh, probably the easiest way to do this is I'm just going to do an example for you. Now I have uh, an external drive here that I use for movies, and I accidentally deleted uh, a few movies that were on there. So what I'm going to do is try to see if I can recover those. So this is a command line tool, and uh, actually, first thing, if you haven't installed this already, uh, and actually there may be some distros that have this installed, you're going to want to install it, and on Ubuntu-based distributions, it is in the repos, so you can do just sudo uh, apt get install test disk. And, uh, you know, a lot of other distributions, non-Ubuntu distributions, this uh, test disk is going to be in the repos as well. So, um, you know, just install it. And then once you have test disk installed, you can run PhotoRec. So we're going to do sudo PhotoRec. Put in our password. All right, and you can see where it says select a media, whichever one of the drives I want to I want to uh, take a look at. So let's kind of scroll down here, and we're going to take a look at this one SDF. And I just know from playing around with this that that is that particular external movie drive. So we select that. We're going to click on proceed. And it'll ask you, you know, SDF, um, one terabyte, blah blah blah. Um, do we want to? Do, and we're going. You can pick an option here. We're going to do the search. You just, you know, use your arrow keys to move around. So we're going to do search. And to recover lost files, uh, select the file type, and. It was not, oh, what was that formatted? I think it was formatted for FAT32, but it, in either case, it was an EXT2 or 3. It was one or the other, so we'll select Other, Enter, and then you get to select a, direct, a, a folder or directory where you want, and as it recovers files, where do you want it to put those recovered files? So just you know you can pick whatever one you can you know create yourself a temporary file you know label it temporary put on your desktop or whatever however you want to do it um, I'm going to use in this frost wire directory go in there and it tells you what's already in there and then if you look up here at the top it now tells you you know here's where it's going to put it uh, what uh, destination do you want? Click on C when the destination is correct. Q to quit. So just scroll to whichever one of these folders you want to put it in. I'm going to put it in that one right there. And then click C that that is correct. And it's going to start searching for files. And you know, you'll get a little list here of any files that it has found. You can go and click stop anytime you want. And then you just need to go to 
your file manager to take a look at the files you know when it's all completed take a look at the files that it's recovered so let's let me go and pause the video because I actually did this already so that you know we're not just sitting here waiting and waiting and waiting and as you can see where it says estimated time to complete you know, roughly two hours this isn't a quick process so I'm gonna pause the video and we'll go to the file folders so let's take a look at what I've recovered we'll open up Thunar and where's that file there it is okay and here's those recovery files and you can see these are all the files that I've recovered now just because I recovered the file does not mean that it is still good um, because actually I did this last night and I started going through them and there are a fair number of these where they are corrupted but some of them are good so you are going to have to go through your files one by one and you know if you just lost one or two things uh, no big deal in my case I accidentally deleted a partition that had uh, a ton of uh, video files on it so as you can see you know I recovered a lot but how much of it is uh, still good don't know now one thing I will tell you is that you are in this recovery directory you are going to need uh, administrator privileges to delete anything out of here so uh, you know whether you uh, you log into Thunor as root or if you, you know if you're comfortable to, uh, working with this via the command line however you want to do it the bottom line is you need administrator privileges so that uh, or root privileges however you want to say it so that you can delete anything that uh, photo rec has recovered for you but uh, that is essentially it um, as always leave comments questions all that kind of stuff down below I will try to get to them as soon as possible like I said I will do another video on test disk and uh, show you how that uh, that bad boy works and uh, as always hope to see you all in the next video thanks a lot